So the next thing we're going to do here is enable addresses 17, 18, 19, and 20. And what we're going to do is we have five total keypads. We've already addressed the first 6160V to address 16. And now we're going to address our other four keypads to addresses 17, 18, 19, and 20. So before we address those keypads, we first need to enable addresses 17 through 20. So on the the first keypad, the 6160V, that we've already addressed to 16, um, we need to go into programming using the installer code and enable those addresses. So on the 6160V, we're going to use the installer code, which is 4112 by default, followed by 800. And that'll, say, that'll put us into programming where it says installer code 20, okay? Uh, if you've changed your installer code away from 4112, then you'd use that code. Otherwise, if it's still on default, then you're, you're here into programming using uh, 4112 followed by 800. So now that we're in programming, uh, we'll go to, first we'll go to keypad address 17. So we're going to enter star 190, and that will put us into, it says keypad address 17. So all we have to do here is enter two fields. So now that we're in programming and we've already entered star 190 to get to keypad address 17, what we're going to do is enter the partition number followed by uh, the sound suppression field. Okay, so more often than not, we're dealing with a single partition system where um, the, you know, this, all the keypads are controlling one partition, all the sensors are in one area, and you don't need separate control. Uh, we won't get into multi-partition control right now, because most the majority of systems are single partition. So uh, the first selection will be a one, setting it to partition one. And then the second selection will be a sound setting. Okay, so normally you would enter zero. Uh, and what that means, you'll get that, that triple beep uh, to let you know that it, that's, it's been locked in and bumps you to keep, as a keypad address 18. Uh, before we jump to 18, as far as sound suppression goes, there's three settings. You can set to zero, uh, I guess you said it's a 0, 1, 2, or 3, so there's four selections. 0 is the most common. It means no suppression. What that means is that your chimes, your uh, entry-exit beeps, uh, even alarms uh, will all beep and generate out of the, the speaker on the keypad. Okay, um, So you always generally want to keep that on 0. If you have this keypad maybe in your master bedroom and you don't like it to beep uh, when you arm from maybe the entry-exit point, um, when uh, your family's sleeping, you can suppress sound. There's three settings for that. Um, this, the setting one will just suppress the, the disarm and arm beeps and the entry exit beeps. So if you entered a one as the second selection, it would just suppress that sound. So it would, it would still chime, uh, but it would not do the arm and disarm confirmation beeps or the entry exit beeps. Um, if you enter a, a, a two, uh, it will it will uh, only suppress the chime, um, but it will uh, it will still do the arm disarm and the entry exit beeps. Uh, three will suppress everything, so entry exit beeps, chime, uh, and and the arming and disarming confirmation. So if you want to suppress sound, you don't want all the sound coming from the keypad, then you can choose one, two, or three, depending on whether you want chime only, um, entry exit beeps only, or both being suppressed. Uh, or you can enter a zero, which means that nothing's suppressed and everything, all the sound will be coming from the keypad. So after you've done that, uh, it'll jump to keypad address 18. If you're only setting up two keypads, uh, then you don't need to really enable these. If you're setting up more, which we are today, um, then we're going to do, go ahead and enable 18, 19, and 20 for our, um, our other three keypads here. So uh, we'll just do the same thing. One for the partition, zero, zero for the sound suppression, so that all these beep here it'll jump to 19 and then we'll keep doing that again here a one and zero you get the confirmation beeps we're on 20 for our last keypad and we'll do a one zero again and now we have uh, keypad addresses 16 through 20 enabled and we can go ahead and address our other keypads now so we're going to jump from the 6160 v up to the 6160 rf which has an rf receiver built into it 